Do you remember this radio, the Quanchang UV K5 radio? That is the ultra hackable, modifiable radio. Well, guess what? It just got a little bit better. It now receives AM airband reception and you can actually understand it. You might remember some time ago that I did a review on this radio and the AM reception was eh, somewhat hard to understand. Here's a little clip of what it did sound like using the original firmware. So you'll notice that it was a little bit distorted and a bit hard to understand. Well, apparently that's because the chip in this radio gets easily oversaturated and the demodulator just can't cope with it and it just sounds all distorted and hard to understand. Well, a couple of smart cookies come up with a firmware fix for that to not make it oversaturated and make it actually half usable on AM airband. This is what it sounds like with the modification firmware applied. Now, of course, this radio just doesn't have the dynamic range to be able to receive all of the signals across all of the frequencies that it can receive at. This radio can receive all the way from 50 to 600 megahertz out of the box, but you can also do a firmware hack to make it work from 18 megahertz all the way up to 1300 megahertz, and it just can't handle that sort of thing. But this particular firmware fix does concentrate on that AM to make sure that it's not oversaturated, and I think that it actually sounds pretty good for a little $30 radio. Now that's not the only change that was done in the firmware. There was a few others, including you can see there that the backlight is now lit up all the time, which is really good because before it was very, very frustrating. There's also a pretty cool S meter and also a, a DBM or signal strength meter. So that's also been improved. And there's also now a mic gain adjustment so you can adjust the transmitted audio out of the radio because the original firmware it was slightly on the low side so now you can get it absolutely perfect and it actually sounds really really good now whilst we're talking about these radios there is one thing to keep in mind is that you do need a license to transmit on these you don't need a license to receive so i can listen to airband reception i can listen to any other services i can listen to ham radio without requiring a license but if i want to push this ptt button and transmit on ham radio bands, then I will need a license. And the best way to do that is to check out Ham Radio Prep. And that's the sponsor for today's video. Ham Radio Prep is an easy, fun, and modern way to get your license with just a few hours of study. They allow you to study online and at your own pace. The Ham Radio Prep app is also available free on your smartphone, and it's loaded with practice tests and quizzes for all three amateur radio license classes in the United States. In addition, they offer paid courses designed to help you pass your amateur radio exam. You can use the code HAMDX at checkout to receive 20% off any course on their website. This firmware also includes the spectrum analyzer function that has been popping up on recent modified firmwares. And I did a video about this, about trying to receive SSB. There's also a separate, as you can see there, bar graph type of meter where you can also change the mode to USB up in the top corner there. I haven't got SSB to work on my radio just yet, but there is a ton of YouTube videos that are coming out showing this radio operating, like listening on eight, um, 18 megahertz, on 17 meters, on 15 meters, listening to sideband signals, really, really strong sideband signals, CW. So it is possible. Maybe I just got one of the earlier 
versions of this radio and maybe mine just doesn't receive it properly or I'm doing something wrong. If you know what I'm doing wrong, then let me know in the comments below so that I can set up my radio because I'm pretty keen to try this out as a little cheap SSB receiver as well. Now I've done a ton of videos on the UVK5. If you want to check those out, then there is a playlist that will be at the end of the video. There is also another video on loading the firmware into this radio. Now, the firmware that I used is in the description below and you can also follow my guide on loading the firmware. I prefer to use the online loader using the website. I'm trying to remember what it is offhand. I think it's UVK5 mod uh, by Matt. So. Have a look for the link in the description for that as well. That means that I can just load the firmware directly from Google Chrome and you just use a Baofeng programming cable. If you haven't picked up one of these radios yet, then there is an affiliate link in the description below to Amazon. They're still only around about $30. So why don't you pick one up? I mean, it's not going to break the bank and you can have a little bit of an experiment and a play around. They're, you know, pretty cool. If you already have one of these, then let me know in the comments below what you think of it, what modifications you've done, and uh, some of the mods that you might want to see in the future.